Welcome to Motoots. As a fun exercise, we'll be installing MySQL, MongoDB, RabbitMQ, and Redis onto an Android device. The first thing to do is install Termux. What is Termux? Straight from the project's homepage, Termux is an Android terminal emulator and Linux environment app that works directly with no rooting or setup required. Pretty straightforward. We'll be using Termux to install Ubuntu. And from there, we'll install the software we want to use. There are limitations to what we could do in this environment. For example, we won't be able to run Docker, but we don't need Docker to manage any of this. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Download and install Termux from the Google Play Store. Once Termux is installed, open the app to access the terminal. Let's update and upgrade the packages first. One thing to note, Google has been getting restrictive with every new version of Android. Because of that, this version of Termux won't be receiving future updates. I'm running Android 10 and it works just fine. But if you do end up having issues, the newest version is available on Ftroid. After the update is complete, we'll be installing SSH to log in from a computer. It's an optional step, but using a physical keyboard and mouse will make things easier. Let's install OpenSSH. To log in, we'll need a user, password, and internal IP address of this device. Who am I to get the user? Passwd to set the password. and if config to get the IP address. You can go to the Android Wi-Fi settings as well. It will be available under the network you are currently connected to. Let's start the SSH server. Open a terminal from your PC and log in to Termux. Use port 8022. It was remapped for us. And if you install anything on your own, make sure to remap any ports in the 1024 and lower range to something higher. You don't want to break anything. Termux provides a package for installing Linux called Proot Distro. Let's grab that. You can view a list of available distros with the command Proot Distro List. Install Ubuntu. Log in. Update and upgrade existing packages. Now that we have Ubuntu up and running, let's start installing the software. We'll begin with MySQL. To access MySQL remotely, we'll need to edit a configuration file and create a user with proper permissions. Since Nano is part of the standard Ubuntu distribution, we'll use that to edit the configuration file. Find and comment out bind address to accept all connections. Start MySQL. I'm appending the ampersand to push the command to the background. Connect to MySQL so we can create the database and user. The database will be Motoots DB. The user will be Motoots user and the password will be Motoots password.
grant the proper privileges. MySQL is ready to use. Next, we'll be installing MongoDB. Create a directory needed by MongoDB. Start MongoDB allowing all remote access. MongoDB is ready to use. Install RabbitMQ. To access RabbitMQ remotely, we'll need to edit a configuration file and create a user with proper permissions. Find, uncomment, and edit node IP address to allow all connections. Start RabbitMQ. It will take a while before it is up and running. Create a user. User will be Motoot's user and password will be Motoot's password. Set the user as an administrator with proper permissions. RabbitMQ is ready to use. Finally, we'll install Redis. Start Redis and allow remote access. Redis is ready to use. To test the connections, you can use your favorite tools. The default port numbers haven't changed. For those of you familiar with Spring Boot, I've created a little companion app to test all or some of the connections. Instructions for running the test using the command line are in the README file. If you import the project into an IDE, just run the tests as you normally would. You can run them all or individually. You'll have to edit the property files to use your IP address. Thanks for watching.